Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome. I am Mrs. Louvre, MD, and I want you to go ahead and subscribe and like. I really appreciate any feedback that I get from these videos because it shows that I am resonating with others out there and I'm living my purpose by spreading the truth, by enlightening other women globally to really delve into the aspect of your true feminine nature that goddess energy and awaken to your goddesshood so all around us we notice that there's a shift that is occurring that has occurred and it is truly a time of collective awakening we notice that these shifts are paving the way for accelerated awakenings and this may look like depression this may look like anxiety this may look like your life is totally falling apart but just when you think think things are falling apart it may not necessarily be a breakdown it could be a breakthrough and sometimes when the ego is so strong you know our ego has got us through a lot of traumatic events throughout our life and even in past lives and, and through genetic trauma so those guards can be up as a form of protection but when so many things are coming at you and you're being aware of these things that means that your spiritual consciousness is shifting and it's not that you are being picked on by the universe by god or what have you you are chosen to be awakened to a more plentiful life a lot of times these things have been called into your life because you've prayed silently about it it's been a subconscious prayer to you also that you want your life to be the very best so therefore certain things are going to align in your life to clear out of your life so that new beginnings can come in so perhaps you have been feeling these waves of emotions for yourself in the last weeks or even months perhaps some days you feel at peace and you're thriving with just this new routine of how things are, you find yourself grippled with anxiety, fear, and even frustration. Could there be one word to help define this array of emotions that we are in the feeling of the world right now? At first, I thought the word I was looking for was uncertainty, but as I sat with it, there was something about uncertainty that didn't quite click. Maybe uncertainty was just a byproduct of something deeper. All right, so, I'll be honest, it really felt like grief, like I was really mourning a lot that was happening throughout these last couple of months, especially with the world shifting um, with a lot of things that are going on. But it was a process of letting go, just like the season changes, our energies changes, too. And when you make yourself when you're enlightening yourself, when you're reading things, when you're doing things in order to serve your greater good, you're going to be changing along with that. So rest assured, your aspect of yourself that is primal, that wants to protect you, puts those guards up. So when you're venturing into new territory, that means that sometimes you may not even feel like you mesh with others you may find yourself isolating yourself from others that aren't aren't necessarily on your path don't feel bad about that understand that you need to honor your intuitive nature as you awaken as a goddess as you awaken as a divine woman you will be more keen and intuitive to a lot of the stimuli going on around you so in the past where you may have thought you've dealt with relatives or just people in general and you've been able to tolerate uh, their lack of consciousness their um, negativity really if you truly think about it you not you weren't necessarily tolerating it because it was manifesting into you internalizing and taking out those hurtful energies on yourself so you not necessarily ever was tolerating that just is what your conscious mind says but subconsciously it had a negative effect on you and so now that you're in a state of growth you're in a state of evolution and you're healing you're not able to even tolerate that because you are on a path 
you're on a path of growth you're on a path of evolving and that means that sometimes it is going to involve grief you're going to have to feel those emotions I am a proponent of happiness and love, but I do understand the duality of sadness and anger and fear and frustration, all those things. Although they are not energies that we should necessarily identify with, per se, as a default set of emotions, but those energies at times help you propel to your very next level in life. All right, so... Most of us associate grief with loss of a loved one. And while that is indeed a reality for some of us right now, grief can also be triggered by other losses. So the loss of the way of life that you've lived, of a job, of a routine, of just human connection, um, even if it's negative connection, all these things can trigger grief and loss. So I... Personally, don't think there's any comparison between grieving the loss of a loved one and a job. I'm not saying that, but just the huge spectrum of pain and uh, the way people are processing through what they're going through. It just bears witness to the fact that the universe is shifting and aligning for the greater good of humanity. All right. So embrace the grief that comes your way. Understand that you need to feel the pain of whatever experiences that you have had in order for you to gather the lessons from that and allow it to let go. Allow yourself to really heal. So every hardship we face, it guides us to unlock a new aspect of who we really are. It gives us access to this new territory of our soul it aligns us with our purpose and makes us aware of that and what we have been put on this planet to do is within us all no one is born in vain so when we ask for enlightenment when we ask for growth in our lives be prepared that a lot of times it may not necessarily be an easy process it may be a process that involves you really purging a lot of things out of your life but realize that what is coming to you is so much more better than what has gone and what is meant for you will return that's just the law of quantum physics that's just biology that's just a science and so it's something that you can really bank on so don't be afraid to start creating space to release and let go of things that no longer serve you in the present of this new reality that is shaping your life and don't be afraid to stand in solidarity with others that are going through a similar experience or even if you have to be in solitude by yourself be empowered that all is not lost and that you are going through experiences that are transformative in your life right now for your greatest good so Until next time, I ask you to continue to vibe higher and thrive. Again, I am Mrs. Louv, MD. Thank you for tuning in. Namaste. Ashe. I love you.